All right, so whether you're new to the Amaro scene or you're a veteran like your pal Vino here, you have probably heard of, or at the very least seen, Ramazzotti in your local wine shop. Ramazzotti is one of the more popular Amaro and for good reason. I mean, this stuff is delicious by itself with some club soda or in cocktails. And I gotta tell you something, I'm gonna show you guys how to make three delicious cocktails using Ramazzotti. These are the guys right here. <laughs> And I'm gonna tell you something, they all came out absolutely fantastic, all right? But before I do that, I'm gonna need you guys to do me a favor and hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you can help Vino feed the hungry, hungry algorithm. And make sure you stick around, because we're gonna boogie down. Ramazzotti Amaro has a rich history that goes back to 1815 in Milan when a young entrepreneur and herbalist named Osano Ramazzotti experimented with flavors to create Amaro Ramazzotti's 33 secret herbs and spices. By 1848, Amaro Ramazzotti had won the city of Milan's heart, appearing in bars and becoming a staple for Milan's socialites. Ramazzotti even opened his own bar, introducing Italy's first non-wine-based liqueur. By 2015, Amaro Ramazzotti celebrated 200 years of tradition. On the palate, you get notes of cola, dark chocolate, black licorice, dark berries, orange peel with a spiced, faintly bitter finish. If you've been around for over 200 years, then you've got to be doing something right. All right, so the first Ramazzotti cocktail that I'm going to make for you guys is called the Rough and Tumble. And this cocktail was created over at the Franklin Mortgage in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So I know my buddy Matt is definitely going to be making this cocktail because he's from the Philly area and, you know, he supports his hometown. You know what I'm saying? So let us look at what is in the sauce. All right, so the second Ramazzotti cocktail that I'm gonna make for you guys is called Skid Row, and it was created by Eric Alperin over at The Varnish in Los Angeles, California. Let us look at what is in the sauce. All right, so the third and final cocktail I'm gonna make for you guys using Ramazzotti is called the Midnight Stroll, and it was created by Brandon Lockman over at the Red Star Tavern in Portland, Oregon. So let us look at what is in the sauce. All right, so let's go ahead and give our three Ramazzotti cocktails a sippy sip, starting with the rough and tumble. Cheers. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. What's great about this, you know, a quarter ounce of green chartreuse and you are definitely getting those beautiful, delicious botanicals that, you know, you're gonna pick up from you know, the herbs and that stuff that you get from the green chartreuse. And it's really working well with the Ramazzotti, which again has some Coca-Cola notes. You know, Coca-Cola has some root flavor and stuff itself. So it really works really, really good together. Oh, this is very, very nice. Mm. Oh yeah, this is a beautiful nightcap style cocktail. Really digging this. Um, all right, so the next cocktail we're gonna try out is our Skid Row cocktail. Cheers. 
Now with this one, you know, when you flame the orange, you're gonna get some of them aromatics of the citrus with a little bit of smoky notes that come from that. It's a really nice touch to the cocktail. Oh, this is nice, this is nice. You're getting some of those apricot, note, apricot notes, the really kind of rich, white, you know, stone fruit notes that you're getting from it. Then the generator brings a little bit of the maltiness into it as well. Very nice little cocktail. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's nice. And now I'm picking up a little more citrus actually on that second sip too. So this is another, another really sweet cocktail. Very nice, very nice. And then last but not least, the Midnight Stroll. Cheers. So this is the one that I was probably the most intrigued and interested in trying because it has Campari, it has the Ramazzotti, it has dry curacao, and, and also the uh, rye whiskey, of course, and pay outs. So I expect it to be very robust with flavor. Let me tell you something, I was 100% right. This is freaking delicious. Oh man, there is something going on here that ha it has a beautiful, there's like a, a sweetness to it, but not sweet in the, in the sugary sense, but almost like, like a, a floral, kind of thing going on a little bit of like like a, a almost like a honey oh this is very nice this is my favorite one i could say right now mm. oh very nice you know when you when you make it a cocktail you put a lot of different things together you know it can either be something where nothing sticks out or where the balance is off so something sticks out too much and in this one, you're getting everything, man. You're getting the bitterness from the Campari for sure. The dry curacao is adding some of them citrus notes in there. Then the Ramazzotti again with the Coca-Cola, the root flavors. Very nice, guys. Oh, man, these are three delicious Ramazzotti cocktails. I think you guys would absolutely love them, right, folks? So make sure you, if you have a bottle of Ramazzotti, you go out and you make these right now. Don't make Vino come over there and do it for you. <laughs> All right, folks? Anyway, look. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please press like, please subscribe, and please share with your family and friends. Remember, sharing is caring, and when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.